Hello everyone. In my previous video about the Kiritsu Q2127R, I briefly mentioned but was not able to demonstrate the hold peak function. As you can see at the box of the instrument, it says peak hold for in rush current. Now, looking at the user's manual of the 2127R, we can also read that the hold peak is available for AC current and AC voltage at 10 milliseconds. For DC voltage, hold peak is available for 1 millisecond. To test this in AC inverse current, I'll connect it to the outdoor unit of my split type air conditioning. Setting it at uh, AC uh, current measurement and peak function. I'll also be using uh, the Hioki CM4376 for comparison. The CM4376 has a dedicated inverse current function. which can uh, display two values, the value at the peak of the highest waveform and the calculated RMS value. Since the 2127R can uh, measure inverse current at the peak value, the, the value should be the same or at least very close to the reading of the CM4376. As you can see, the peak value of the inner current for the Q2127R was slightly lower by about 2 amperes from the value displayed by the Hioki CM4376. This is acceptable. It was consistent and close enough. I have no sophisticated equipment to test for hold peak for AC voltage and DC voltage. However, the principle of operation should be the same. The 2127R will detect the highest value and hold it. When the next higher value is detected, it will update the display until a higher value is again measured. Use cases for AC current peak hold would be the inverse current that I have just verified. For AC voltage, I would propose that this can be used in troubleshooting by measuring voltage peak values during capacitor switching and variable frequency drive operations. Momentary transient over voltages typically occur during switching of this equipment. Knowing the AC voltage peak values can be a useful method for equipment protection. For the 1 millisecond DC voltage peak value, I'm not too sure what would be the use case for it perhaps for solar battery and other energy storage systems, but it's here in case you need it. Thank you for watching. Stay safe.